Hello pets, I'm Zeta Midnight and this is the Mini Monday Moments podcast, your one-stop shop for comfort, reassurance and support to start the upcoming work week with a positive mental attitude. Let's start as we mean to go on. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I've just been working very very hard and I'm very very tired and I think it's time to stop for a second (laughs) well yeah you know but I like to get as much done as possible in the time that I have and then you know if anything unexpected happens then I've got a buffer it's just the way I've figured out how to work what about you Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mmm Okay, okay. So what, you're still trying to put it forward? (laughs) Nice. Um, When will you hear back from... Already? You've already heard back? Well, tell me the good news. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) No, I, um... (laughs) <laughs> well, I was hoping, you know, positive mind, good vibes and all that stuff. But um, I suppose it reaches a point where all the positive vibes in the world isn't going to change something that you don't have any control over, you know? <laughs> well, it's not up to you, is it? Like, you can do all the work possible, but at the end of the day, the choice isn't yours. It's It belongs to someone else, and someone else making a decision about your creative works, well, they're going to come to it with their own biases, their own preconceived notions, their own, I don't know, their own idea of what they want. Now, what do you mean by that? Okay, um, why don't you sit down? No, 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 nothing, nothing. I just mean, come sit down so we can have a proper chat. Because you don't sound like you want to have another go. I mean, yeah, of course you can have another go, but do you really want to? Oh, yeah. Your parents said that, yeah? (laughs) Do you know what? My parents say the same thing. Zeta! Try the hardest you can, never quit, and you will succeed. You know, I told them the last time they said that to me. They, it, it, yeah, I know, I'm a grown-ass adult and they still say it. I mean, that was fine for teenage me. That was, you know, fine for little kid me. Well, of course it was, because back then it was like, I, I don't know, it was like learning to ride a skateboard or... um learning how to do a decent crossover on my quad skates, you know? Um, Or trying to figure out a particular maths problem. They they, they were things under my control. Yeah, but do you know what they said to me? Like, the last time they said that to me, it was in relation to... It was in relation to some auditions I was doing um, for a set of video games. I won't name them. No, yeah, you wouldn't know them anyway. Um, and I auditioned again and again and again and again. And I just, you know, they weren't interested in my voice. They weren't interested in taking me. And my parents' response was, well, just try again, you know? And I'm like, no, actually. No, mum. No, dad. I, I'm i done now. Yeah, do you know what? They said exactly what you just said. The exact same thing. What? So you're quitting? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Look, d- no, stop, 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 stop. Don't bite my head off, okay? P- please don't. I'm just... May I give you an alternative perspective? Quitting, if you want to put it that way, isn't always a terrible thing. It isn't always just giving up. No, of course not. There's nuance to everything. But in this scenario, I said to my parents, look, I could keep auditioning. Of course I could. I could 
keep pouring more and more energy and time into trying to get this role or these sets of roles or just something from these sets of roles, okay? But if I continue to do that, I'm doing it to the detriment of everything else. I'm using time and personal resources like energy to to pursue something that doesn't look like it's going to turn out for me. So yeah, I could keep going and keep smashing my head against the brick wall, or I could turn that same energy, all those resources towards training or working on my portfolio or doing my independent work or looking for other roles that might suit me better. I don't know when it happened in the world, but for some reason, people have come to think of quitting as giving up. And I don't think it is. For me, quitting is about redirecting your energy and resources towards somewhere they are better suited. So I'm not applying for those roles anymore. I mean, the reality is maybe the casting directors are looking for something entirely different and no matter what I do, I'm not going to fit it. I'm not going to fit those requirements. Maybe I'm too British. Maybe I'm too well-spoken. Maybe I don't have enough accent range. Maybe the vocal tones in my voice just do not suit their visions for the characters. Nothing I do will change that. So I turn my resources away from that one thing and instead look at all the other things I can do with that time and energy. And you know what happened after that? Three book gigs. (laughs) Yeah, well, thank you very much. (laughs) But the point I'm trying to make is if I had continued pushing and pushing at those other roles, I wouldn't even have seen the three that I got. Quitting isn't negative. Please, try to reframe your thoughts. You're not quitting. You're restructuring and reassigning all that energy to somewhere it will do you the most good. You're welcome. Look, you don't have to do anything now. Just keep that in mind, okay? Sweet. So what do you want to watch on telly? <laughs> because right now I am redirecting my energy and my resources towards relaxing because I've had a busy day and I suggest you do the same. Uh, Netflix? Sweet. Uh, you go grab some popcorn and I will find us something to watch. No, we're not watching that. It's crap. No, because it's miserable. If I want misery, I'll watch a soap or something. Can't we watch some cartoons? Oh, come on. Thank you for listening to this latest episode of the Mini Monday Moments podcast. I am your host, Zeta Midnight, and thrilled to be able to support you this week. If you have an idea or scenario you'd love to see as a Mini Monday Moment, please submit your idea through the link in the episode description. I'd be pleased to record it for you and share it with the rest of the world. And if you've enjoyed this episode or indeed any other, I'd be honoured if you take the time to share, like or even leave a review. These small steps will really help me grow and reach more people just like you. For now, I wish you a wonderful week that treats you as well if not better than the one previous. Be safe, be well, be healthy and I'll catch you next week. Bye, pets.